Now, I love Photoshop's new generative feel. It is absolutely amazing, but I keep getting this really annoying pop-up. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can fix all of that just using Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. So you're loving the new generative feel, but it keeps popping up with this really annoying message, basically saying you're violating user guidelines, but all you're doing is just expanding the image or adding in a corner. You're not doing anything wrong. And let me quickly show you what this ha how it happens. So I've got this lovely photo of a couple that I've recently done. All I'm gonna do is simply, I wanna expand the image ever so slightly like so. So I'm turning it more into a square. Then all I'm gonna do is use the marquee tool to select the transparent pixels on the left-hand side and then also on the right hand side, I go down to generative fill and then I simply go ahead and click generate. And as you can see, it pops up with this message, which basically says the generated images were removed because they violate user guidelines. But it hasn't, all we're doing is expanding the image. We're not doing anything wrong. So how can we get around this problem? All you'll need to do, and it's a really simple and easy fix, go back to generate fill, but instead, don't leave it blank, add something in there. You could add in a specific keyword, like for instance, expand image, or if you just wanna be nice, quick and easy, simply just add a full stop or a comma or a semicolon. And basically add anything, honestly, it should work apart from spacebar, it's the only one that doesn't work. Go ahead and click generate again, and it should fix this problem. And as you can see, boom, it has worked straight away. So we've got option one, We've got option two and we've got option three. I'd say option two works the well, or works the best in this specific image. Then I'm gonna select those two and then I'll go ahead and merge them together. And as you can see, I've now turned into a square, but that pop-up never appeared. All we did was simply add a full stop to that generative fill dialog box. So if you ever have this problem again, don't leave it blank. Just simply add something like uh, a keyword, maybe add a description or something, or just simply add a full stop. And hopefully it should fix this problem for the meantime anyway.